Yo, what's up, YouTube? This is your boy, Junior, a.k.a. Smoking Guns, out here in Tucson, Arizona, representing the Ultimate Fight Club, giving you the latest content in boxing and MMA news that is out. So, today's video got another one coming out for you, another aftermath with Austin Trout versus Terrell Goucher, man. And this was free on Fox, man, PBC on Fox. They really doing big things, putting these damn fights out on Fox. It was actually on FS1, but it was a very... Very competitive fight, man. Very good fight. The outcome of the fight, really don't agree with the outcome, man. I'm not really sure exactly how the judges were scoring this fight or what exactly they were looking for. But this fight ended up a friggin' split draw on the damn judges' scorecards, man. And going into this fight, I really didn't know who exactly was going to win this fight, man. You got to do like Terrell Goucher. Very good boxer, man. Pretty much the only loss that he has is to friggin' Arislandi Lara, man. Going up against a dude like Austin Trout, who is a friggin' veteran in the game. Literally fighting a who's who in the damn boxing game. So I definitely knew that this was going to be a competitive fight. But going into this damn fight, dude, it was actually a very close fight, man. Especially when you looked at the punches that were landed in this damn fight. Because the punches that were landed were very close going into this fight. You had a dude like Terrell. Goucher, who actually edged out Austin Trout in the punches that were being landed, being the aggressor in this fight. And the one thing that I gave Terrell Goucher going into this fight was he landed the more substantiating shots in this damn fight, man. He landed the harder shots, the more eye-catching shots in this damn fight. But you had a dude like Austin Trout who literally stayed in the damn game in this damn fight, dude. Homie wasn't going anywhere, and at the times where a dude like Terrell Goucher was taking over the fight, you could see Austin Trout trying to stay gritty in the damn fight, trying to stay in Goucher's face. He would try to be the aggressor. But I think Terrell Goucher's power is what really dictated the pace of this damn fight. And in those exchanges where Terrell Goucher would actually get the better of the exchanges when they would literally exchange in this damn fight. And I think another thing that really helped out Terrell Goucher in this fight was his punch volume in this damn fight. Because both of them weren't really throwing too many damn punches, but Terrell Goucher was literally out throwing Austin Trout throughout the whole damn fight. Even though the percentage of punches landed might have went to a dude like Austin Trout who did land the higher percentage in punches. But then when you look at the punch output that was in this fight, Terrell Goucher literally out threw Austin Trout in this damn fight. And he definitely landed the eye-catching shots that were in this damn fight. And then even at the last round, Austin Trout, he was trying to stay in the game, trying to stay in Goucher's face. He was trying to go blow for blow, but even using that tactic, trying to go blow for blow with Terrell Goucher, you could see he was clearly getting out punched, out strike in those friggin' exchanges. And at the end of this fight, I clearly thought that Terrell Goucher was going to win the decision in this damn fight. And when one of the judges gave it to friggin' Austin Trout, I'm like, all right, well, homie's going to end up getting a friggin' split decision victory for Terrell Goucher. But then when they announced that a friggin' draw, I was looking at this fight like, I don't know what the hell the judges were looking at to give this fight a friggin' draw, but I clearly thought that Terrell Goucher would have won the decision in this fight just for the simple fact is he did land the harder shots, he was more of the aggressor, and he definitely threw way more punches being the high-volume puncher in this damn fight, and I clearly thought he would have been able to win this damn decision, and I think it's kind of weird in boxing. You have definitely seen a lot more draws in the damn boxing game Especially when you see a fight like this, when you would clearly think that one of the fighters is definitely going to get the decision. And I'm not really sure if it's the name of Austin Trout or where they are fighting yet. And I don't think where they're fighting would have been a big thing for it because they were fighting in friggin' Mississippi. And Austin Trout, he's from New Mexico. So I'm like, I'm not really sure exactly what they were looking for. But whatever they were looking for, they clearly was not looking for the same exact things that I was looking for in this damn fight. 
And it just goes to show if you're going to win these damn fights, you clearly sometimes cannot let it go to the damn judges' scorecard because however the judges see it may not see it how you are seeing it. And Goucher is definitely lucky he did not end up losing this damn fight by the judges' scorecard. But it is what it is. And hopefully these two can be able to rectify that damn decision by being able to get a rematch somewhere else and being able to get a definitive winner on who is the better fighter in that damn division. All right, you guys. So I hope you guys like the video. If you guys like the video, make sure to hit the like button. If you're not subscribed, make sure to subscribe to the channel. And if you guys have any kind of questions, any kind of comments, hit me up in the comment section and I'll be sure to hit you guys up. All right. So I hope you like the video. Holla at your boy.